Hello, thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. Right, we're back. I forgot to do the intro, so I'm doing the intro at the end of the video, but it'll be at the beginning of the video, if you get what I mean. So basically, the video today is about sandblasting, so literally there's a tiny bit of sandblasting at the end, but it's literally the process. So showing you my new sandblasting cabinet, showing you all the equipment that I use, and um, how basically I sandblast from start to finish, so from cutting the vinyl with my Cricut, sticking it onto the item that I'm going to be sandblasting to actually sandblasting and actually the sandblasting is the quickest part of it all so um, yeah but I will obviously do more videos in the future on sandblasting probably shorts or full videos just sandblasting lots of different items but for now this is just kind of a start to finish of what happens when I sandblast so let's get into the video so this is my sandblasting cabinet that Sam brought me for Christmas. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video, you'll see that Sam brought me this for Christmas. And it is now March and yeah. So anyway, it's been set up finally. These are the legs that Sam built me to put on it so it is of height so that I can use it standing up and I don't have to lift it to the table. Um, I can use it where it is. And yes, I know there's a mess underneath. This is my business room, so I have just everything everywhere i've got all sorts of animal food and bits and stuff under there so I just ignore all that but it works for me um so yeah so this is my cabinet and then this is the top so i'll just tell you a little bit about it so we've got the shield here which obviously protects um the glass i've opened the top so you can see better so yeah so this is the little shield bits the little plastic shield bits that you get that protects this i guess as much as possible um and i've got some spare ones i don't know if it come with them or sam brought them i'm not too sure but i've got about four or five spare ones because this will eventually go um it'll basically get scratched up and i won't really be able to see through it so yeah so then i just replace them um but yeah so that's that and if we go down um, we've got a little light at the back, how cute, because then obviously you can see through what you're doing. So it is a little bit dusty in here because I have actually been using it. So let's see what we've got. So basically inside here is a little filter bit. And then on the outside we've got our Henry Hoover attached with some masking tape so the bits don't escape into the air. Right, so in here, let's see what we've got. We've got our gloves, which obviously they are sealed here, so anything can escape. That's put into the cabinet. So you've got one there, and one over that side that's bent. Let's move them out of the way. And then you've got your gun here, which is all set up with its pipes that Sam set up for me, so that we can blast. You can obviously put sand in these machines if you want to. I'm actually going to be using, or rather, I am using um, aluminium oxide, which is basically rust from aluminium. It's pretty much as simple as that. Normally, you're probably used to seeing rust as in orange rust, which comes from iron, and that's iron oxide. And that is an orange in colour, but this aluminium oxide is like a greyy. If you can see, it's like a grey, it's like a grey in colour and it is very, very fine. The particles are it's pretty much like dust, it looks like. So before I used to use the kiln dried sand and the grain as obviously the grain of the sand is obviously a lot, lot bigger. I used to use this gun to sandblast. It's probably still got sand in it. Yeah, it definitely has. Um, and that used to attach to my air compressor i say it used to it still does but i don't use it anymore now i have got my new cabinet this was my old visor and this was the shield that used to attach to the front of it because you do not want sand blasting in your eyes at that speed safety first and also you do not want to breathe it into your lungs i can't remember what sam always says to me put your mask on i mean put your respirator on and even sand blasting outside in an open space 
we still use our respirator because you just don't want to get the particles into your lungs because it is just so dangerous. With my trusty new cabinet, um, this is, I guess, this is a really safe way to sandblast because it's all enclosed. Basically, the iron oxide sits in the bottom and it's all attached to these pipes and stuff. So when we spray this gun, obviously when it's attached to the air compressors, um, it will shoot out, we'll spray it onto the item that we're going to be using and it will scratch whatever pattern we choose to scratch into the item. Right, so if we move up to here, which is the top right of the cabinet, we've got the little filter area. So basically once the sand has been shot from this gun, it'll obviously make like dust particles and things. So they will be all sucked through this filter and pulled out via my Henry Hoover, which has just literally been masking taped onto the side. So the aluminium oxide will just drop back down to the bottom and it will get recycled and the particles will get sucked out of here, allowing me to be able to see through the lid, um, like I said, because the, the hoof will suck all the air out of here, which will make the gloves inflate <laughs> all on their own because it's sucking all the air from inside this chamber. And let me show you my air tanks. So this is my original Stanley air compressor which I had prior to getting this sandblasting cabinet and this is what I used to use with my old bits out in the garden. So this basically holds 24 litres of compressed air which is compressed to 100 psi which is pounds per square inch and basically this is what I used to use. So when it gets to 100 PSI, then it kind of turns off and does its thing. So how I used to use it before was I'd let it build up to 100 PSI and then um, I would start spraying. And then as I spray, I'm not sure what it goes down to because I never really noticed. Once the PSI starts going down, then I would feel like the loss in pressure in the gun and then I would have to stop and let it build back up. So. I would be off and on, off and on, um, waiting for the pressure to build back up in the air compressor. So now, because I've got my new blasting cabinet, Sam thought it would be a great idea for me to have an additional um, tank. So now I've got 48 litres of compressed air, which should make it all last um, a little bit longer. So when I'm sandblasting, I haven't just got one tank to empty. I've got two tanks to empty so I've doubled my capacity so like I said I had 24 now I've got 48 so it would just allow me to blast for a little bit longer before I have to stop and let the pressure build back up again. Right so that's it I've explained all you need to know for now um, how it works what equipment and bits we're using and that's it basically that's all I feel that you need to know for now if you do want anything more detailed answered you know about the fixtures and fittings or you know how sam set it up or you know the equipment we're using because sam did set all this up for me and luckily for me i'm lucky enough to have sam that if anything goes wrong then i'm like sam and he will fix it for me but if you do have any queries or questions you'd like to ask about the machine um, or sandblasting in general, please do get in contact in the comments down below. Right, so this is what we're going to be using to sandblast today. We're going to be using our Cricut Joy. It's just a genius little machine. It's just compact. I just couldn't say anything bad about it. I just absolutely love it. So we've got our vinyl. We're just going to be using black because I've got loads of black. And this is the jar that we're going to be using. I'm going to make Sam a cookie jar I think. So I'll be cutting out the words with the Cricut, sticking them on the jar and we'll go from there. So let's let's do that. This is our jar. Um, the clasp is actually sits like that on the corner. I'm not sure why but anyway it does. But I'm going to mark up round here so <clears throat> I'm gonna measure maybe let's go six and I was gonna do Samwell's cookie jar well they'll beat me up for writing Samwell but you know that's his name isn't it guys um so Samwell Samwell's sweets and treats Samwell's goodies <laughs> Samwell's oh what should we put I'll decide and then uh We'll cut it out. 
In fact, I am the one that has a biscuit, so I should make myself a jar that says Lisa's Biscuit Jar. Hmm, that's for another day. Right, so this is me Cricut app, and uh, I'm going to just design, um, in the design space part, a... I'm just going to basically do a simple text. So let's do text, and then we'll write what we want to write. So let's go with... Sisa, I can't see what I'm writing. Sam's, no, not Sam's. We write Sam well, don't we? Sam Wells. So when we write Sam Wells or Sam Well, um, we're replacing the W instead of the U. That's why it's not double L. It's spelt the same, but different. Same but different. Tree jar. Now we do weed. Right, so we're going to put this sticker, or this vinyl rather onto this jar. Can you see? I definitely could have done the writing a bit bigger, but never mind. Let's just try and get it straight. Sometimes, unfortunately, that can happen. You can think you've lined it up perfectly and then the sand is that strong and abrasive that it goes through um i need to now put these little bits on this jar that's gonna have to do there my friends <laughs> people really don't understand how time consuming handmade stuff is like when obviously you do handmade stuff can be expensive and people are like why is it so expensive we can go to the shop and buy it for half the price but you know the shops mass produce and this you know people at home making stuff to sell homemade stuff what makes a machine or you know mass production hours can take days for us little business owners, do you know what I mean? Right, last but not least, before we do the sandblasting, finally. Like I said, this video is obviously about sandblasting, and I know we're only just sandblasting this one little jar at the end, but it's just all about the setup and the process of how I sandblast and what I use to sandblast. So I will do more shorts and videos of other items that I do. I actually have got some sandblasting that I have done that I can't obviously show you because it's for people but i'm sure i'll show you that on a short another day right so let's get to masking the rest of this jar up so that we don't have any aluminium dioxide ricocheted and blast where we don't want it to Okay, we're done. We have masking taped up the jar everywhere, top and bottom, just literally leaving the Samwell's treat jar. So let's finally do some sandblasting. So I'm going to turn the compressor on and we're going to wait for the gauge to reach 100 psi and then we'll wait for the gauge to go up onto the second tank but this one has got bar on it as well, so it reads a little bit different. 
yeah back to the main one once this one reaches 100 psi then it will turn off and then we're good to go So the jar is in and I'm hoping you can see um, I'm going to start sandblasting. Right here we go kids, here we go. That was really quick I know but look at my gloves how they've uh, filled up because of the hoover sucking the air out <laughs> right let's get it out and have a look let's have a nose I'm hoping I should put some gloves on but it's plastered okay because I won't know until I take it off but it looks good Samuel's treat charm ta-da Guess who's joined us? I bet you missed him. They missed you. Did they? I missed you. The way I'm sitting there looks like you've got a really big head. I have. It's all right. Don't you worry. There we Bloody go. Hell. And now mine's bigger than yours. You've now got the same. And now you've got a massive head. <laughs> right. So anyway, um, we sandblasted Sam a jar today for your sweets and treats. I was going to do you a cookie jar. And then I was like, I am going to eat cookies. So... Basically, but I want to eat cookies too. You should make me a cookie jar in another video. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I have like a biscuit stash in the cupboard, and Sam doesn't. But I could. But you don't. I could. But anyway, Sam's going to have a, a sweet jar. Not a sweet jar, a treat jar. So you can have sweets, you can have cookies. And why did sweet? Why did treats? Is because then if you want cookies, you can have cookies one week. I'll just stop you up randomly, do you know what I mean? Different things in your street in your street jar. In my street jar. You stay away from the street jar. And then this is the final product. You cut it real deep. Nice one. Cut it. Yeah. Right? To be fair, yeah, that there's like That's an cut indent. Much deeper than the sand used to use in the gun. When the uh the sand didn't and I had to go over over and over and over when I just sandblasted that it was like literally two seconds and I was like oh that's it for the sandblast yeah that aluminium but oxide is a lot more abrasive it is literally I can't believe how you can feel you can feel the actual you were going to love these guys when you wore drum you can hear it as well like if you lift this up oh you know ain't going to damage it it's glass but yeah I'm really happy with that. I really wish I had done it bigger, but I wanted to just to show you something because I have got other things that I've sandblasted, but they're for gifts, so I can't exactly show you right now. Do you know what I mean? Sam, you are you are a treat, isn't ya? I know. You're my treat. <laughs> right. So yeah. So I'm gonna put some sweets in here in a minute. Wait, we'll be back. Magic! You can't really see the sun well anymore. Okay. It's just a nice little bit of personalisation, but yeah, um, I will obviously do it bigger, bigger text, bigger text, you bigger even, font like, next at time. Christmas, like sandblast the whole bottom of it, like some kind of snowy Christmas scene and put some snow yeah. and reindeer and sleighs in and stuff. I mean, this was a really simple design. To be fair, we've done fancier designs with the old way, with the old gun and just the air compressor. Yeah, you don't even need the old gun anymore now. Well, I guess you do if you have something really big that doesn't fit in that cabinet. We can always bring it outside and sandblast it with the gun still. Yeah, of course. But yeah, like I said, we've done fancier. Um, patterns that like we did Nicola a glass with like a Christmas scene didn't we and we've done your mom gin glasses and yeah. um, we've done quite a few different things um, it's just nice now years. that the uh, because the media doesn't go all over the place you can uh, buy more expensive high quality stuff instead of shooting it around the garden it's a really nice um, finish yeah. like it's deep like the, the sand sits on the top doesn't it the 
aluminium oxide is it cuts in deeper and it literally took less effort and this way obviously using the cabinet we've got the recycle factor so the yeah. aluminium oxide is just recycled and recycled as in the sand was blasted around the garden it was gone but also it meant if it was wet and raining you you yeah were outside in the cold and the rain Definitely. and all the rest of it yeah i was um if anybody contacted and wanted a glass or anything don't i have to wait until whatever we've blasted yeah. I have to wait until the weather's correct. This looks like it's indoors, it's illuminated. It doesn't go around. And this one, did you <coughs> say you can't get, what's it called, ciliosis? You can't get silica of the lungs because uh, sand is silicon based, but this aluminium oxide is not so. Much safer. Yeah. And it's all in the cabinet anyway, to be fair. So if we ever, we could put, I was saying in the video, we can put sand in. So yeah, like it's, nice, it's nice, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice. It's unusual. We've been watching Catherine Kim, it's so sad. Yes, yeah, so like I said, you can put sand in the machine, but I'm choosing not to because the aluminium dioxide is just a fantastic cut, a fantastic finish. I guess if you wanted to uh, to save some money, you could put the sand in. Is the tit titanium? Is the aluminium dioxide more expensive? The aluminium oxide is more expensive. Very but expensive. It lasts longer. Yeah, it's just not said recycled. So I think the it? amount you've got in there is two kilos, and that was about twenty-five, thirty pounds. So it's not a lot dearer. Well, that bag's about three quid from being cute. Yeah, but you can use that a lot more times. Yeah, that when is. it's all over the garden, it's a bit hard to use it again. Will it? Um, will it get? less effective it will over time because it has sharp edges on all the grains right now and eventually they'll get knocked down and it'll become more smooth and you'll also find particles of whatever you're blasted like particles of this glass will mix in with it and stuff and make it less effective but it, it's going to last a long time yet like you'll probably get another thousand or so sweet jars out of it quite easy oh lovely fantastic but yeah i'm really happy with that like i said i'll definitely uh, <coughs> be doing bigger writing next time but i am actually selling these jars if you want to go to me aljo's gifts my website's not sorted yet and um but my aljo's gifts page on facebook is available you can message me there and request pretty much anything that i sell anything you've seen me see on everything bleh, anything you've seen me make on youtube um is on my facebook page if it's not just message me and say where is it gonna get around to it eventually do you know what i mean um yeah these things are all for selling so oh, very much you're not, not selling this one this is mine i love it and the sweets aren't in it either well i'm gonna put a lock on this soon so that i'll sort that out they are more sweets from halloween actually so i think i'll be taking them back out for after the video okay hmm not really you can have them probably gone off to the break and all more right okay thank you for joining me and now us for the end of the video it was nice to see you in here to see Aww. you nice and well <laughs> thanks for watching and i do apologize this video is is about seven o'clock and we're still recording and i have to upload so i don't know what time this video is going to be up tonight but it will be up at some point half eight nine i'm going for nine so if you have come back and looked at seven or hopefully you just you were busy and then you've come on now and it's just miraculously here then uh, forget that i said we're late we've been here this whole time yeah. yeah thanks for watching see you next week and ciao for now bye, bye. <laughs>